Hi, welcome to Edward Box Guitar Tuition. So today's classic album inspection is Love Drive by the Scorpions, their classic album from 1979. Now, I can't find a release date for this. Uh, it says February 1979, so I'm just putting it out today. I'm um, actually charts in the UK on April the 21st, 1979, so it's probably staggered release. So this marks a massive change in the Scorpions. I think it marks a kind of seismic shift, really. Um, but they start off with almost a, a, a progressive psychedelic kraut rock influenced album with loads of crow. Uh, there's a big gap. They actually kind of disband and then reform with a uh, is it Dawn Road I think, which has Uli John Rothen uh, and the drummer I think who joins them, and then they keep the Scorpions name with Klaus and Rudy. Uh, uh, Francis Buchholz comes in on bass. I'm not sure if that's on Flight of the Rain, but apologies. And they did this more progressive, psychedelic, Hendrix-infused rock. But they do have sort of dynamic, shorter rock songs and like Speed is Coming. And that's that's kind of kind of be the DNA of where they will go. That's more like the Rudolf Schenker thing. Then they do the, the, the trio of classic Uli John Roth albums, In Trance, Virgin Killer and Taken by Force. Uh, and that is uh, reaches its epiphany, so to speak, with their superb double album Tokyo Tapes. Uh, and then upon that, Uli John Roth leaves. Uh, and that kind of puts that era to a close. Um, the band are a successful touring act. They do quite well in Europe, but they don't have the commercial success uh, that's going to, uh, I would say, enable them to continue. So what happens is is they uh, get Matthias jabs him, uh, but what happens when they're they're doing the love drama is Michael Schenker uh, joins and does a lot of the lead guitar on this album. Now he plays lead guitar on another piece of meat, Coast to Coast Holiday, Loving Your Sunday Morning, and Love Drive. Uh, and sometimes it's quite hard to decipher, you know, oh is this Matthias? Is it Michael? But I'll, I'll go through that. Then uh, he he leaves, Mephias is touring with him, then Michael comes back. Whether there was record company or management pressure to put Michael in, because, you know, he's a star from UFO. So Mephias has to quit again, uh, and then Michael quits again in the April 79 on the touring, and then after two months, and then Mephias comes back. If you're interested, if you check out photos from the time with Michael in, he's kind of wearing, like, black drainpipe jeans, a yellow kind of suit jacket and a thin leather tie, very sort of um, quite a cool sort of European new wave look. He's got his what I call his obsession hair. After this, he has a sort of a nervous breakdown. He smashes his flying V up. Both of them, if you notice on the AMSG album, he has his black and white flying V, you know, and that's what he had made after. He normally had a normal white one before that. He smashes up and cuts his hair. That's why he's got hair all short on the MSG era. Um, Anyway, also you will find like live bootlegs as one from France, I think. Uh, and it's interesting hearing him tackle the Uli stuff. Um, uh, so yeah, a weird little period of history. So when Matthias joins and is secure in this lineup, that establishes what is uh, the classic or best known Scorpions lineup. Her and Rel Bell, Bell on drums, Francis Bucholtz on bass, Rudy and Matthias, and of course Klaus on vocals. And this this lineup will go a great success. So principally the change in the sound is basically the Scorpions take a cue out of the, the, the school of Van Halen and ACDC really. They strip down their sound, it has simpler beats, it has more direct hooks um, uh, and there's kind of more, se no there's not more separation between the guitars um, uh, but on this album you won't find Matthias Jabs what he will do later on as prevalent. So basically I'm very short and to the point it's 36 minutes and 49 seconds and it opens with a classic Scorpions tune, Loving You Sunday Morning. Uh, this has um, got lyrics by Klaus and Herman, so Herman Rare Bell got really involved in the lyrics at this point. Um, it's 5 minutes and 36 seconds. So this, that simplicity thing, you know, one of the guitars just pedals, du, 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 and then the other one's playing the ba ba da ba da ba playing the inverted sort of dyads um, uh, on the, the G and B string, I would say. 
It's a great track, it's got a great vocal by Klaus, um, a really cool uh, kind of, um, is it, is it post chorus or pre chorus of the woo woo ah ma 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 bit? Anyway, that's got a really cool guitar line in it. Really actually plays a diminished chord, boo doo doo doo, um, uh, which is really good. Um, yeah, it's a great track. So it, at first, I always got confused with the solo on this. So the first solo is um, Michael, and you can hear when you listen, you can hear him on his neck pick up on those classic top string bends. And Matthias does the, the outro solo. So it's fair to say that Mafias does a solid job, but he's not the Mafias who'll become, uh, I think, when he kind of gets booted and reinstated in the band. I think that puts a firecracker over his arse. And I think he, not that he won't have been practicing, but I think he really knuckles down. And he's given a specific job in the Scorpions, which people call him the German Van Halen. Um, uh, and that's to get the kind of little taps in whammy's pinch harmonics and develop his style and, and get that fluidity that Michael brings on this uh, album. Uh, and he, he does that, but not at this point. So the next track up's another piece of meat. Again, Michael does his, does his best solo on this, on the album. Uh, if you hear, it's like panned uh, to the um, uh, left side facing speaker. It's a great lead break. This is, again, this up-tempo rocker thing that Scorpions will do. This will begin a sort of tradition of Scorpions tracks like this. On the next album they do uh, Don't Make No Promises, uh, uh, which actually made me prefer. Um, and there'll be other tracks like this. What I should say about Michael's playing this album, I don't think it's his best playing. I think he does really nice solos on his album, but it's not the level he was at with UFO. And it's not a level he'll be out with MSG in terms of his soloing. Another piece of meets the one solo to me that is kind of of that ilk. The other solos are really nice, they're, they're good. Um, I don't know what he was going through then or why, or maybe Rudy uh, and Dear to Dear because wanted something more laid back. Um, interesting, another piece of meat, the lyrics are written by Herman Rarebell. Then you've got the ballad, Always Somewhere. It's easy to hear the kind of influence of something like A Simple Man by Lina Skinner on this. Really, again, this will begin the tradition of ballads. The Scorpions always done ballads, but there's something about the form of this, the arpeggiated chord, the structure of it. This will make the template for the Scorpions ballad that will appear on Amazon, often appears at the end, but there's another one will come to that. Um, really just a little solo on this, um, it's a lovely track, I really like it, and side two, one, sorry, finish was the all-time classic Coast to Coast the instrumental, and this is a song that would cause a fallout with Rudy and Michael later on, Michael claims he didn't get any songwriting credit, it's credited to Rudy, because um, he's put those parts on, he's never got any royalties, complicated, um, uh, because if you're in the Scorpions, your publishing uh, is tied up with the Scorpions. At this point, Rudy, I would suspect, is probably deferring his publishing money, as in, as is Klaus, into the band coffers. Um, due to like, the band probably in funding. Uh, whether Michael had separate publishing, I don't know. So Michael probably just got put on a wage like the rest of the band. He's left, that wage would stop. Um, you know... It's complicated, money comes in and out of bands, uh, merchandise, tour, and then there's expenses out, wages, crew wages, rehearsal, storage, hire, trucking, all that. I don't know the ins and outs, but I suspect that's sort of what, what's happened. I don't think Rudy's intentionally sort of gone, oh yeah, I'll take Michael the money off Michael kind of thing. He's probably written a song of Michael, can you come up with a part for this? Not thinking that Michael's written it. I don't know. I'm surmising here. It's a great track, and obviously it's a staple live. The band will, um, class will get on guitar, and it's always a fantastic moment in Scorpions gigs. I think also this track shows the beautiful simplicity of Rudolf Schenker's writing and rhythm playing. Listen to his just his block power fifths, power chords, uh, underneath the... They're so simple, but when you play them, it's just so satisfying to play and to listen to, and it's that... Thing, it's that change from the ooly sort of funkiness and octaves and stuff which I love to this kind of punchy simplicity which is going to get them a bigger audience side two opens with another staple 
a style of track will become a staple of the Scorpions, so it can't get enough. Um, 2 minutes 36, again, this is a high tempo rocker. Later on, they did tracks like Now, The Same Thrill, Love on the Run, that would be in the style of, of this, this kind of track. It's probably my least favourite track on the album, but I do like it. Uh, Matthias always used to do a solo for this as well, his six string sting solo. Um, it's got quite a cool solo, and Matthias does a nice kind of little wah wah GB string, wah, double stop thing. Uh, that I really like. And that kind of shows, again, that's a bit of that solo, kind of shows where my farce will go. Then you've got Is There Anybody There? Now this is uh, one of the best tracks on the album. It's kind of got a reggae feel, but it's more like a pop rock reggae feel, more like what the police would do. Um, a lot of bands are kind of inspired and experiment with that at the time. Uh, the uh, lyrics are canny. Um, this has got a really good Matthias solo. He's got his best solo on the album that he does, um, I'm just checking he does do the solo, um, sorry about this, I'm just looking for the, uh, yeah, he does do the solo on this, um, uh, the production on this is good, I like Herman Rebel's drums, I'm not a massive Herman Rebel fan, but he does, does a nice feel on this, uh, it's a really good track, um, great melody, actually recalls the early scorpions with Klaus's ah, melody, you know, they kind of forsake that, but that's something he did before this, so it, it's it's a kind of reminder of what went before this. Um, then you've got Love Drive, this has got the classic Zeppelin, Achilles Last Stand Gallop. This is a good rocket, it's maybe a little too long for what it is. Um, uh, it's Michael Solo on this, he kind of does a harmony and then some little breaks. You know, it's a cool break, but he, he could maybe could have gone a bit more bonkers on it. Um, catchy chorus, I actually saw them, them play this live at the uh, Royal Albert Hall in 2006 at the uh, Teenage Cancer Trust gig that Roger Dolch was organising, Judas Priest on that, very good show. And then the track finishes with what will become a tradition, it finishes with a big ballad, it's Holiday. Um, obviously you've got Still Loving You, you've got When The Smoke Is Coming Down. The precursor to this obviously was on the album before Born A Touchy Feelings um, uh, um, on the Taken By Force album. So Holiday's another classic track. Uh, again, it shows the Scorpions European tradition. You know, it's got this lovely D minor riff, very kind of neoclassical sounding. And it shows that thing with European bands where their DNA is not with the blues, it's with Bach and Beethoven and the European composers, I think. Um, it's great. Again, I think this track's a bit long. It kind of has a long fade out uh, um, with Michael just doing some stuff. Um, so I love this record. It's a classic record. Is it their best album? Sometimes I fear and think Blackout's better. I think this is very consistent because it's only got eight tracks. These days I tend to kind of go the Uli era more because I like that progressive stuff. But there's no doubt it's a key record, not only in the Scorpions... Uh, career, but it's a key record in kind of hard rock metal. It's that thing where it's going more commercial. It's coming at that time, the pre new album, where people are starting to get in to the more, more commercial uh, side of metal. They've got Van Halen, they've got um, ACDC, they've got obviously Highway to Hell this year, Power Asia the year before. Priest, I'm Unleashed in the East, which kind of, you know, compendiums there, the compendium of their classic stuff. They'll be British still after this. You know, this was an album a lot of people would have bought. When the new album came out and the Scorpions did Animal Magnetism after this, which was in the same ilk, it went gold in the States, 500,000 copies, uh, gold in Germany, 250,000 copies, two times gold in France. So its certifications there is nearly a million copies alone back then. You've got the rest of the world. So this is a, although not the biggest selling album, it's probably a solid seller. Um, of course, it's got that cover art, um, the classic Hypnosis cover art, which would probably are not pass muster now. Um, but uh, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Um, uh, it's a classic hard rock album. I think later on, the fire is solo and will get better on Animal Magnetism. And on Blackout, he'll develop the thing that I think is Jeff Waters of Annihilate. I mentioned the continuous solo where he's riffing and putting in fills, which will sort of become his trademark on his next few albums and the hard panning with Rudy's rhythm. Uh, so in that respect, it's a kind of unusual album how it kind of the fast only dips his toe in, uh, uh, di dips his toe in the water, so to speak. Okay, I think that's uh, Love Drive summed up. Um, Forty-five years old today. 
or this month. Check it out. It's a great record. And remember, share and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.